Hello everyone, in this video I'll be converting a brand new Epson XP15000 printer to print DTF. This is one of the easier printers to convert, there are only two screws that you'll need to undo. This printer is pretty good at some things, but it's not ideal. So at the moment I'm installing third party refillable ink cartridges. These are not ideal, they already come with a chip, but this chip is one time use only. So once the ink runs out, you either have to reset the chip or buy another set of cartridges. Um, this is just what I had at the time, uh, but ideally you would want to buy a proper uh, continuous ink circulation system uh, with multi-use uh, chips, or there's also another way is to download and install third-party chipless firmware. It can be a little bit tricky, but that means your printer will never think that it runs out of ink and you'll never need to use chips and you'll be able to use whatever ink um, system that you need. Chipless firmware should set you back around 55 USD. As far as filling in the ink goes, it doesn't really matter where you put the ink, but I've decided to keep it simple and put CMYK into CMYK and fill in grey and red with the white ink. And right now I'm turning the printer on and waiting for the print head to start moving. When it starts moving, I unplug the printer from the mains and then the printhead unlocks and I'm able to move it around uh, by hand. The whole upper roller assembly is being held by just two screws, so it's very simple to remove the whole thing without having to fit it with individual rollers. And this is done to prevent the ink from smudging as the film comes out. This printer uses a different cartridge system. The original cartridges are very complex inside. These refillable re replacement cartridges just use uh, a little block of foam. And at first I was really worried that this foam would either filter out some of the white pigments from the white ink, or it would make the white ink solidify, but I haven't had any problems at all. In fact, I accidentally left this printer idle for over two weeks, and when I turned it back on and did a nozzle check, the white ink was um, wasn't printing at all and I figured the print head was just dead but after dropping a couple of drops of DTF cleaning liquid onto the print head and uh, cleaning it a little bit and letting it soak in the cleaning solution for 20 minutes the white came back perfect so that wasn't a big deal so the last bit is probably the trickiest part of the whole uh, conversion process. All you need to do is to move the print head all the way to the left as you are looking at the printer and then you should be able to remove the whole roller assembly without any problems. When it comes to actual printing, you will need to use RIP software. Sadly, this printer is one of the newer models and it's not supported by all the RIP software. So you will need to use either AcroRIP 10 uh, EK RIP Studio or any kind of RIP that has been updated to support this printer. The print quality is very good and it prints a lot quicker than something like Epson L1800. Now let's talk about the negatives. This printer has an awkward paper feed that tends to bend the film a little bit so therefore it doesn't accept film all the time. In fact, it doesn't accept transparencies or thick, um, thick paper either, which is a little bit frustrating. There's probably a way to solve this problem by disassembling the printer a little bit and uh, sorting out this paper feed issue, because there is a little bit of plastic in the middle that is a little bit awkward. It's probably designed for regular A3 paper. Secondly, this printer has a built-in ink tank, and uh, once it fills up, you'll have to replace it. There's probably a way to bypass it by drilling a hole in the side and attaching a waste ink line to an external waste ink tank. And finally, because this is a newer model, it requires a newer um, RIP software uh, version, and these tend to be a bit more expensive. 
But as you can tell, the print quality is amazing. Uh, the conversion is very simple and straightforward, and the printer itself is much cheaper than some of the other printers that people buy and convert.